Hello and welcome to this My Floor training video. My name is Sasha and in this video I will show you how to make a playlist, how to add games to your playlist and also how to add your playlist to your floor. You start by clicking at My Playlist and here you see some of the playlist that I've made. So this is in Danish, so you probably don't understand, but I made a playlist about historical games, games with sport, just for fun, or games with animals. To make a new playlist, click this plus sign in this corner. A playlist contains an image, a name or a title, a description, and also in order to make your playlist public and to use it on the floor, you have to change the standard marks down here. First I want to upload an image, so I click new image for game icon. And I will pick this image. My image has a transparent background. You see that because my background has these white and grayish squares. You can crop your image manually by dragging this one. You can also turn on fixed aspect ratio. That means that your image will fit directly into the box of the playlist. Or you can click use maximum size in order to get the full size of your image. My image is transparent, so I would like to use the maximum size because I want to make my background color of my choice. So it will fit no matter what. When I'm satisfied, I click the send button. The standard background color is black. To change that, I click this one and I can drag this dot around to change the color. I just want it to be white, like that. For the title, I'm going to write Sasha's Best Off. I can change the size of my title and also the font, like that. I can also change the color. So let me just see if I can pick the right color of that. And you see I have these black background in the top of my image. I want to switch that off like that. And in this description I'm going to write games made by Sasha. So I'm not being a very good example because we recommend that you are more specific in your description. So if you made a game in a specific subject or for primary school or in a specific theme, please type that in. Because that makes it easier for your colleagues on your school or worldwide to see what your playlist contains and if they should add your playlist to their floor. So I'm setting a really bad example, don't do like me. In order to make my game public, I like to switch off draft and on published. Right now my playlist is only public at my school or my, in my organization. If I want to make this a global playlist, I have to switch this on, making it public. When you're satisfied with your playlist information and the icon, you click save. So now it's saved and I can see it here. To add games to your playlist, click on my games. Click on the games that you want to add. And click on add to playlist. Now you see all my playlists and I simply have to click the playlist that I want to add the game to. And now it's saved. Oh, I can do this again, add to playlist, click on the playlist, and now my games are added. I can see that if I go back to my playlist and click on edit content. Now I see the games in my list. To add my playlist to the floor, I click on my playlist, click on the playlist that I want to add to the floor, and click add to floor. 
The floor is divided into three rows. The first row is by standard divided into H. The second row is divided into game types or universe. The third row is what we call a mix up. It's divided into themes or, in my case, personal playlists. So I would like to add my playlist to the third row. When I'm satisfied, I click the submit button. And now my playlist is added to the floor and within 30 seconds I can go into my playlist and play the games on the floor. I hope you can use this video on how to make a playlist, how to add games to your playlist and how to add your playlist to your floor.